Stevie Richardson did a lot of this in the army and he still does it today. Four years ago he stepped on an improvised explosive device in Afghanistan. Stevie's sergeant stopped him from bleeding to death but both his legs were amputated above the knee. The 26-year-old left the Royal Regiment of Scotland last September and now spends much of his time doing exactly what he used to do, running, climbing and swimming. You can get up on your legs, you can deal with your injury, but you can still sit about the house feeling sorry for yourself, or you can just get out there and just get stuck in and do what you used to do. And just enjoy life, basically. As cheesy as that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Not cheesy at all. Come on, come on, come on. Push, 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 push. Elbows over, elbows over. Next month, Stevie will join 2,500 people in a Spartan race at Winton House in East Lothian. They'll face five kilometres across rolling countryside and 15 surprise obstacles. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stevie will be in a team with two friends who lost limbs in Afghanistan. You've got a rock there, just on your right. That's your he feet. says with a smile that they'll have one leg between the three of them. Throughout, they'll wear stubbies, aesthetic feet much shorter than their usual artificial limbs. Some obstacles will prove tougher than others. Stevie lost five fingers in the explosion four years ago, but he says they'll work something out. Spartan races are one of the toughest races in the world for anybody. So for Stevie, the challenge is even greater. You know, the, the obstacles that he's going to have to go through are ten times, a hundred times harder than everyone else. For Stevie, it's all about keeping himself out of a wheelchair as long as possible. If I don't want to get to a certain point in my life and be struggling to get prosthetics on and get up and walk on them and being confined to a wheelchair for the rest of my life, that's inevitably what you're trying to avoid. Um, so you want to be as active as you can for as long as you can. There's going to come a day where I'm not going to be able to run, I'm not going to be able to walk, I'm not going to be able to climb over things and that, but it's certainly not today and it's not anytime soon. It is a triumph over adversity and surely a lesson to us all. David Cowan, STV News.